Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero here, back with another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. That's right, back with some more games from the Kane's Wrath Open Challenge, November 2014. Thought I'd bring you another game series today, just because, you know, had a little bit of time. So, you know what, another video. I've got to upload these slowly, slowly over the next couple of days. Obviously, you've probably already got the first couple. But uh, this one here again, we have Unleashed UA and Bike Rush Owns. This is in the winner bracket. Uh, this series here was a best of three. The winner goes to the semi-finals in the winner bracket. So uh, we're going to have a look here now. Uh, Unleashed versus Bike Rush. Of course, Unleashed back after a pretty long break. And of course, he's one of those players that plays with a lot of risk. So uh, Bike Rush, we know that he does win a decent amount of games due to the fact the other players are quite frightened of him. And Unleashed UA isn't the kind of player who's going to be scared just because he takes unusual or... Uh, unimaginable risks every single game and he is got well did he just power plant cell yeah he's GDI and he just power plant cell so he obviously wants to get that middle garrison which probably means he's gonna go for these towers bike rush let's have a look what he is he's a GDI faction too uh, he's gonna be GDI vanilla so it's gonna be GDI versus GDI here and that tower cell may actually pay off here for unleashed the thing is he should just put his scouts here because if he takes if he if bike rush sees that he gets his building that far ahead of him he'll probably realize that it's been a power yeah bike rush is smart enough to know that that was probably a power plant cell because if you see if you're only just at this point here and the other garrison is taken you know it's a power plant cell and bike rush didn't actually go for a second engineer to the middle his second engineer is going to go down to the bottom there uh, unleash will be about seven seconds behind at the start of the game he's have two engineers going to the middle of the map now Probably a third going over there. Unassisted? No, there is an escort over here, so he's going to be okay. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Bike Rush. Wow, he's got some... Oh, dat range. Dat range, Bike Rush. Serious range there. But he is firing at this garrison. Over here. He's probably going to lose this garrison, but it doesn't matter. He has taken that one, that tower. He could have probably maybe sneaked it and grabbed the other one. You can see a nice little dance in and out of the garrison there by Unleashed, just trying to trick him. Uh, not going to work. Bike Rush probably about to grab his second spike. Yeah, he's got both his spikes, so Unleash has not yet grabbed them. He's about to grab this one, and he's a little bit away from grabbing this one. He's actually going to walk into this fenced area, which is a pain. And, uh, yeah, the engineer's going to have to go around the fence, because infantry can't go through fences. But, uh, yeah, he's actually got a scout over here now as well. And look at this. He's actually managed to... Uh, Bike Rush actually moved uh, buildings, so he should take yeah, the small building over here. That's nice. He's going to be able to focus down Bike Rush's gas more before his goes down. So, I mean, when all is said and done, Unleashed is behind the economy by about seven seconds. Uh, he does have a tower, so Bike Rush is like, oh, hang on a second, there's a tower here, and he is going to lose his scouts. He can only shoot them one at a time, though, uh, so he's probably going to run straight up to the tower where it can't range him because there is a minimum range, and he's going to dig a foxhole there as well. Uh, it's not going to do too much. I mean, uh, Unleashed is going to try to respond. Not going to work. We'll have to see how the late game goes here because, again, uh, Unleashed, I would have expected some kind of an attack to come out because he did grab the tower. He is moving the MCV. I would have thought maybe an airfield, really fast airfield, would come out. Uh, a few people's out by Bike Rush, so yeah, airfield was probably a bad idea if he was going to go for that. Bike Rush is only on three harvesters, so going for those pitbulls has obviously let Unleash now get ahead in that econo economic race here. But these pitbulls are moving to the top of the map. Unleashed is not going to be able to scout these. Bike Rush is doing a pretty good job of hiding those, so yeah, he's even moving these scouts away, but I'd imagine he can't actually... Oh no, actually, he does spot them. He does spot them. He's got a scout over here, so he's going to see four pitbulls coming in, and uh, I mean, he should be able to defend against that. You can just micro the harvester around the war factory. You know, one predator tank, it's all over. Uh, a sixth harvester does come out, so he's going to need something. I think he's going to respond with his own pitbulls, which, I mean, Bike Rush could probably just focus them down. And he's going to go for a harvester. Unleashed immediately pulls the harvester. He's like, you know what? I'm not going there. And remember, the machine guns on the harvesters will actually do a decent amount of damage to these pit bulls as well. Uh, Unleashed does lose uh, one pit bull, but uh, Bike Rush has uh, two reasonably damaged pit bulls there. No harvesters go down. That harvester is back to refining already, so he didn't lose too much. Going to grab that pit bull there. He's going to lose a second one. Maybe get another shot off. Yes, he does get one more shot off. Meanwhile, that tower is still under attack over there. Third pit bull going to find that Unleashed has expanded over here now. Uh, we'll have to see what he's going to do. And he sees the airfield. The airfield comes down straight away. A uh, little bit of uh, power issues here for Unleashed UA, but I'm not sure. Maybe he's going for Firehawks. Maybe he'll go for a tech center. Not upgrading any power plants. We'll have to see what Bike Rush is up to. He does have a airfield here, and I think he might be going Firehawks as well. He calls in the Orca Strike, so you don't really call in the Orca Strike if you're going Orcas because it gives it away. So obviously he's trying to trick him. And though they're both called in the orchestra, so they know what's going on. So Unleashed is not going to get anything with that. He's going to hit that refinery, do some damage. And the other one is going to come down here. It might actually almost finish this airfield off. And yeah, a lot of damage on the airfield there. No upgrade coming through, so I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, if he's going for uh, Firehawks, you would have thought he would have got the uh, the Stratifier upgrade, especially if he built the, the airfield first. I mean, I guess he did use it for scouting. Now Unleashed has some pitbulls here, and he's going to be able to clean out this foxhole. 
So his tower is going to be fine. The scouts there should be able to finish them. Well, actually, the Pipples are probably just going to splash them down now. Some Pipples moving through the map, but again, he can't engage here just because uh, Unleash has this tower and it one-shots those Pipples. It's not going to be a good time for him to do that at all. Unleash, meanwhile, has some foxholes down here, just uh, keeping out of range of the enemy bunker over there. And, oh, look at that. Uh, the... Uh, the airfield does go down to a Firehawk from uh, Bycrush, so just a lone Firehawk. He's actually going double airfield Firehawk, so he's pretty heavily committed here. Unleash fences his airfield straight away. He is going for an upgrade. It could be Pitbull Mortar. It's upgrading so fast, it must be Pitbull Mortar. And yes, it is going to be Pitbull Mortar, so he does have that. Something you don't see too much on this map, just because it's a closed map, so there's a lot of chokes. Pitbulls don't have a lot of room to maneuver, but in a game where they both have this kind of very light structure to... Uh, kind of forces, it, it's probably going to be okay. Now, Unleash is, is going for a Marv, so he's like, you know what, all right, I'm not going to go for Firehawks, I'm going to go for a Marv. He really needs to do something about the Firehawks. Pitbulls are good, but, I mean, the, the, the Firehawks are just going to come in. They don't quite finish that off. They are going to drop more bombs there. Do take it down. One turret comes down just before the comm center goes down. So remember, if the command center is down, actually something just went down there. A refinery went down as well, so wow. Bombing in two different areas at two different locations. That was, uh, that completely threw, uh, uh, threw Unleashed off there, so... Again, uh, that's really going to hurt. Battle marker over here is just infantry on the, uh, the Tiberium. He's going to go for what seems to be a counterattack. Fire Crush does have a decent amount of pit bulls here to defend. And uh, yeah, again, Unleash was, of course, fencing up his most important structures. And the comm center has been revealed. He kind of needs that because uh, if you guys don't know, the command post is extremely important in, uh, in situations like this. It controls all the AA for, uh, for GDI, with the exception, of course, Firehawks. He's going to stratify it into the base over here. Is he just going to go for the Reclamator Hub? No, he goes for the MCB. Does he have enough bombs? He does have enough bombs, and he does drop it. So there you go. Eight Firehawks without hard points is enough to drop the MCV. He could have laser fielded it, but he's not going to be able to do it. He's going to have to build an MCV right now because uh, that uh, that Reclamator Hub is his only uh, means of reclaiming his build, and it's his only production structure. Meanwhile, Pitbull's there just uh, having a go at each other. Bycrash going for his own Marv. He does have Zone Troopers out as well, and yeah, Unleash really needs to do something. He's not going for an MCV. He's going for Pitbull's. And if, yeah, again, if this Reclamator Hub goes down, this could be over pretty quickly. This could be over pretty quickly. So Bycrush, yeah, just getting the crippling blow on Unleashed. Unleashed not doing anything too fancy either. Uh, no, no hard points. He does Stratify her in, so Bycrush maybe not 100% aware, but he is going to go for the Refinery. And with eight Firehawks, it doesn't matter if there is a uh, field on there. He actually blew up a Harvester as well. That was pretty crazy. So, again, those Firehawks just like uh, screaming out of there. Eight Firehawks, pretty big commitment in a 1v1 fight, especially if it's uh, not late game. It, it's kind of, obviously, we're into the late game tech, but it's not uh, totally down. Meanwhile, Bycrush has a triple rail, one NG Marv against two Rifleman Marv. Wow, that's not going to work at all. Puts the third Rifleman squad in. We have a beacon down there. That could be Shockwave. This could be all over this game. And he calls in the, oh yeah, Bycrush has got so much money at this point in time. And Unleash isn't going to be able to do too much. He does jump jet these uh, zone troopers away, but the mortars, I mean, they reload pretty quickly, and he just mortars them down. So maybe not a good idea to call that drop pot in. But yeah, supersonic airstrike, Bycrush, like, get out of this game. He has this one. So unfortunately, uh, uh, yeah, Unleashed unable to mount a, uh, an attack there. A few harvesters now being uh, used as targets here while the Pitbulls try to do some damage. But you're, there's nothing to counter the Marv at all. And Unleashed, he is going to be losing his Reclamator Hub. Not quite. Not quite. He Does he get any Firehawks? He does get one Firehawk, so... Not really enough. He does sell off the Reclamator Hub. He was about to lose it. So he has no MCBs. He has no production. And game one, unfortunately, Unleashed uh, going down there. So, yeah, kind of a bitsy game for both players there. But Unleashed just getting a, a bit too, a, a, yeah, pretty much shut down. Eight minutes. And uh, Unleashed is down and out of that game. So uh, we're going to head on into game two, see if Unleashed can level it one all or if Bycrush will be progressing. But you can see their resources uh, pretty heavily in favor of Bycrush after a while there. So Unleashed maybe could have made a few different decisions, a bit, bit more scouting. But uh, yeah, those double Firehawks just uh, completely knocking his build and slowing him down to the point where he had to just tap out. Only 50,000 to Unleashed, 70,000 to Bycrush. Again, they did marvelous a fair bit. But yeah, 8 minutes and 10, 11 seconds, and uh, and Bycrush has game number one of this series. Stay tuned to, to my ch oh, this video. We're going to be having game number two come up right now. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Green Zero back here again with game number two from Bycrush versus Unleashed UA in the Kane's Wrath Open Challenge, November 1v1 2014 tournament. Uh, we're going to jump straight into this one, and you, as you'll notice, we're on Tournament Alpine, a map that uh, is in the map pool, of course. Uh, it does get played every now and then, but it's not terribly common. Uh, of course, you guys should know the layout of this map. I have cast it on it before, but uh, just for those of you who don't know what the, what the map is like, we're going to do a quick whip around. Unleash, meanwhile, has got Travel 59. He went straight to his uh, favorite faction, Travel 59, on the 
right hand side here, he's probably going to be going for fast legs. He has got a structure which is building quite quickly, so we can only assume that's going to be fast legs or the, the stasis chamber, there we go. But you have a safe spike in the corner, uh, pretty easy to get that one. You have an expansion field beyond this mountain range down here, which you can get pretty easy to defend. There's a little bit of room down here. There is a contested spike down here, similar to what you'd see on Torment Rift, but there's only one and it's a little bit different layout, garrison here and here. Uh, middle expansion field, not as much tip there. It does grow larger. Uh, if we head up through the middle, there's a scouting path here, and then you've got the top area where there's the dry blue field. And the same is mirrored on the other side. A lot of open areas in the middle, but yeah, you've got to watch out for that contested middle field. Uh, the thing about this map is if you don't get the contested middle field, you've still got the opportunity to get the blue field, which is a long way away from the contested field. So if you get the blue tip, it gives you the extra money you need to contest this field. And that's the, the logic behind the, this kind of map design is to have the blue field there. Just like Torment Rift, uh, you've got the blue field. A lot of people, of course, in recent times, try to get the blue tip before going for that, that expansion. They try to leech the blue tip, which has become really popular. And it's, it's causing a lot of interesting games as well. But uh, look at that, Bike Rush has a GDI faction, of course. He's going to be GDI Vanilla, yeah, he is. And he is actually going to secure this second spike, so that's nice. The fast legs are here. Uh, it, does Bike Rush even notice they're there? He must notice they're there. And oh, he pulls the harvesters, he pulls the harvesters. He's in big trouble, actually. He has to sell the refinery, and Unleash is like, yeah, whatever, I'm just going to focus that down. And wow, he's got him in a lot of trouble right now. He could just win this game straight out level at 1-1. He gets a harvester. Second harvester, can he get a second harvester? He's getting chewed up pretty badly by the harvester guns and the APC. And yeah, they're doing a lot of damage. He needs to get that second harvester. He's not going to get it. He's just going to fall short. Oh, disappointingly short there. Oh man, maybe he should have pulled out after getting the one harvester. But you can't blame him for staying there. Because uh, he it really looked like he had a chance to get that second harvester. Again, he could have pulled the descents around. Grabbed the, uh, the spike. And, uh, and killed the other spike. I'm not sure if he went for a second assimilator. I don't necessarily see one. Uh, buzzers do kill that squad there. There's actually two buzzers there. Probably from the sold off buildings that he had. But he does have three harvesters. So he's three harvesters. Bike Rush only has two harvesters. And look at this. He's actually going to send one to the blue field straight away. So he's like, you know what? My eco is messed up a little bit. I'm just going to do uh, a blue tib run. And really, it's one of those things where you got to really contest. Yeah, is it worth going to the blue tib? Because if you get two loads of green tip, that's worth more than the blue tip load, and you've got to drive halfway across the map to get it. So you really got to think about that. HBC hey, is going to come down here, and he's going to see that there are more disintegrators coming up. But he's trying to milk this barracks a little bit. Unleash not too pleased about that, losing a couple of squads. But he did have a few more up here. Oh, my God, he's got a squad up here, and he's going to get this blue harvester. Oh, by crush. He's not going to be pleased about that. Just lost another harvester. That harvester was on the line down here, then took a massive detour over here, only to get killed. That was, oh, that's pretty detrimental to Bike Crush's efforts here. Unleash is doing a pretty good job of this. Bike Crush clearly did not see this coming. He does have that APC still alive here. Looks like it must have cleaned up the remainder of those scouts, but uh, Unleash does have four harvesters, two ref. Now, Unleash is one of those guys who does have a little bit of trouble sometimes. He doesn't go, he doesn't get enough eco sometimes because he's just so aggressive. He spends a lot on units, and if he can't do the damage he needs, it does come back to bite him, but he is doing the damage he needs at the moment, and he is going to get the spike as well. That's nice. I almost thought he had that spike, but no, that is still under bike rush control. There is one Rifleman squad uh, responding here, but to be honest, these uh, disintegrator squads, if Unleash is paying attention, should be able to kill that, uh, that Rifleman squad. I think he's just going to go for the spike. And, oh, it's so tight, but he does get it. Yeah, more Rifleman squads coming now. So, really, the Disintegrator squads getting the Harvester and the Spike have already paid for themselves. And they will damage that squad a little bit. Bike Crush, meanwhile, has 5-2. and two, So, he did manage to get 5-2 and two back up. Unleash, meanwhile, is still rocking. He's got 5-2 and two now, but he does have a Nerve Center. He does have a Nerve Center. He's going for another Simulator. He's got uh, Disintegrator squads there. And he's getting Blue Tib as well. So, he does have a 6 Harvester, mind you. So, I did not see that. So he's looking pretty good. He's going to be able to scout Bike Rush, and he quickly kills that Rifleman squad because, you know, what he can. You know, the Gunwalker's going to kill it straight away. Uh, three, four, five, six harvesters here for Bike Rush. So he's got six harvesters up. Uh, the comm center is somewhere. Yeah, he's going for an airfield. APM should be on the way because he's against uh, he's against Vanilla Squid now. Obviously, Unleash can see this upgraded power plant. He can't see where the comm center is, but he knows it must be up because that's what you need to do, do that. And he can probably guess that APM is on the way. Is he going to guess Hammerheads are on the way? Maybe not, but he can see Bike Rush just getting one Hammerhead. Which means he's really going to have to micro that hard. Does have the uh, the Rifleman squad in there just to, just to be a scout and to kill those Disintegrator squads should they make a nuisance of themselves. More Disintegrator squads. Bike Rush is going to see these. And there's no Rifleman squad inside that, uh, that APC. No Mind Bomb coming out either. So the Hammerhead's probably going to respond. Uh, Unleash could split these uh, guys up here. APM are just finished up and with the Rifleman squad to help. These uh, disintegrator forces will uh, probably go down. There is a, a gunwalker here, which probably could have gone, came and helped them, but 
Not going to happen. Meanwhile, Lightning Spike is down here causing problems. Again, only one Hammerhead. Not going to be able to beat this one Gunwalker. And uh, what's happening over there? Oh, two Gunwalkers. Oh, geez, they almost killed that Hammerhead. Bike Crush not realizing that. And uh, meanwhile, a lot of small skirmishes here by uh, Unleashed UA, causing problems, causing damage, killing whatever he can. Harvester is down to half health there. Battle Markers over here. It's just another that same Hammerhead. Battle Markers over here. It's these few Gunwalkers rolling around. Does Unleashed have an expansion? He doesn't have a Tech Center. He's just got Tier 2. Not sure what he got the tier 2 for because he hasn't actually implemented it yet. Hasn't even got a power plant upgrade. I, actually, you know, I guess he used the, the lightning spike. Maybe that's what it was for. He was going to do a bigger push and then uh, didn't have enough. Harvester is getting more blue Tiberium. He might want to... Uh, may want to pull that one back shortly because it is going to get shot up here by these APCs. And these APCs will kill it. It'll take them a little while. If they drop some minefields, they'll be in a bit better position. These two Gunwalkers could be helping this out. Meanwhile, what's happening there? Battle Markers, nothing serious. Nothing serious happening over there. Probably an Orca Strike. Uh, disintegrators are on the bottom of the map. And oh man, this Harvester, these two Gunwalkers did not respond in time. And he will be losing this Harvester full of Blue Tiberium. Oh, Bike Rush turns around. He leaves it. He leaves it. Oh man, he must have Q-moved or ordered all of his APCs to move away. And I think he's realized he's going to chase it. But is, is it too late? There's more Gunwalkers coming. He's not going to be able to say that. Meanwhile, Disintegrator Squad's over here. Harvester's pulled off the line, so that's fine. Hammerheads will clean up. No damage done there. But the uh, this uh, Harvester will get away, and that's important. Is it full of blue tip? It's almost full. It's about 95% full. Uh, meanwhile, some Gunwalkers coming down here. The Gunwalkers should have been there with the Disintegrators. They're coming in behind the Disintegrators, and now, of course, uh, he doesn't have them. But he's not going to get into this field, nonetheless. He probably should pull these Gunwalkers back. I mean, Gunwalkers are pretty expendable. Two more Hammerheads, or probably the same Hammerhead plus one, uh, moving through this base here now. Oh, no, he picked it off. He picked it off. Oh, that's got to hurt. Is he going to get the Hammerhead? No, he does not get the Hammerhead. Is there anything down here? No, there's nothing down here. A Sam turret is being queued, so as long as he places that in a good spot, he should get it. And he does... Oh, my God. He's going to get it. He gets both. Oh, Bycrash, not happy about that. Crush would have been raging if he was streaming that game. More battle markers over here now. He's got a harvester there. There's a lot of APCs. There's too many APCs. There's actually a lot of gunwalkers here though. So maybe if he calls in repair drones, he could focus them down. But APCs generally don't do too well against the same amount of gunwalkers just because the gunwalkers have a high DPS. And of course the uh, the lightning spike is there. But he may be okay. He's actually going to focus down the lightning spike because that's what's going to do most of the damage here. Unleash not focusing too well. He's probably going to lose his fight here. Reclamator hub comes up. So he's going to see that. He does take down a few more of his APCs. But yeah, he's going to lose the rest of this gun type weapon damage here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit too much for him. And uh, down goes the last Gunwalker. Meanwhile, Unleash does hold that second spike. So he holds two spike against Spike Crush's one spike. He does have... Oh, he's only got single ref, mind you. But he is going for a Hexapod. So Unleashed is still looking pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good. Screen, with, screen against just a Marv is perfectly fine because the Marv is completely vulnerable to things like um, Prodigies and Teleportation and things like that. But he could just Marv as the main field. There is two Mechapedes coming down here. And again, these APCs, not too good. They're actually a mixture... Of, uh, of Shard and uh, Disc Mecha there. And there's Firehawks here. Wow, is he going to see those Firehawks? If he loses his uh, his Tech Center, if he loses just one of these Firehawks, he can't bomb the Tech Center. Wow, did not even see Bike Rush manage to pull those out. So he's got four Firehawks. And look at this, APCs here now. They do actually snipe down one of the Mechas, but the rest of his APCs are going down. And they're a useful unit to hold on to. You don't really want to be giving those away. And this actually bought him time now to get the Hexapod out. The Firehawks aren't going to be able to make a bombing run, a successful bombing run here. And this last mecha is going to be picking off most, if not all, of these uh, APCs here. And yeah, that's nice for them as well. I'm not sure where the Firehawks are. And now they probably should be bombing something. I can't even see them on the radar. Meanwhile, these guys are going down. They are still flying around somewhere. I cannot see them on the radar. There they are. They're up there. But the rest of the APC is going down. And he is going to take the refinery. Not a very strategic target. He still has build raiders because the, the nurse is there. And he doesn't actually need that anyway. Uh, if only sold that, he gets like 500 bucks for it anyway. And uh, so I'm not sure why, but Barkashi could have just got a power plant and the nerve center would have done a lot more damage than uh, what he was trying to do. But nonetheless, he did take the refinery down. The Marvis here, double engineer coming out for the back spots to rail on the front. And he's probably just going to Marvis his field like I thought he would. Meanwhile, Unleashed is here. He's going to have triple shock trooper out. Of course, for these guys, he might want to go a little bit heavy maybe on the Shock Trooper because they'll be really good against the Marv and Juggernauts and things like that. But of course, he's going to watch the over overcommitment on APM. He's going to go for a Devastator by looks like He does have a second, uh, what do you call it, uh, Refinery here. Not oh, actually does. He's already got Shard Launchers, mind you, so that's good. Against Firehawks, you really need Shard Launchers. They're ridiculously overpowered against uh, against that kind of thing. The Hammerheads are coming. Bike Crush does snipe down that Corruptor straight away, and uh, he will be killing these Zone Troopers. There is a, a, a uh, what do you call it, Juggernaut here as well. Meanwhile, Disc Mech is coming in. Are they going to get a Hammerhead kill for their troubles? They will not quite get one. They're actually going to get one. 
teleports the, the hexapod away. Meanwhile, these mechas are getting chewed up a little bit. He's probably going to want to get those away. He does get them all away. He's going to need some repairs, though. Zone Troopers coming out, and again, going back to that thing that a lot of people were talking about, massing Zone Troopers pretty good against Skrin. Uh, there's only two Firehawks, so I can only assume that two got shot down. Did not get their extractor by the looks of things, so those Firehawks not paying dividends. There is a Devastator Warship out as well, so that's going to be really good. There's a second one. I think he should stop at two just because there's Firehawks out, and two is really all you need. He can destroy this whole base with just two. And all Prodigy comes in, takes that. Uh, he doesn't actually get the Harvester, which means it probably wasn't actually harvesting because he should have got that. Area Mine controls the Juggernaut, and Vipress is going to have to put that down. But the Hammerheads come in, and uh, the Hammerheads will take out the Prodigy. Firehawks rolling around, so air is really important for GDI in this situation. Meanwhile, something getting blown to pieces over there. I can't even see what it was. It might have been an orca strike. But the Hexapod is here, has repairs. There's a few gunwalkers which could make light work of these zone troopers. No power packs, which you kind of need those if you want to go up against too many gunwalkers, just because it gives them that extra infantry. But of course, these are these devastator warships are here. And he got the files, and they do have missile loadout, and he's going to take one of them straight away. He's going to claim one straight away. They don't actually have Stratifighter, so that's interesting. So the other one is going to fly forward. And he's probably just going to plan on uh, trying to destroy it. I would have probably gone for the refinery because he might not have enough time to destroy the uh, MCV. But there is a second one over here now. Wow. So he's coming in with two of them. He's calling in Bloodhounds. And, oh, actually, hang on a second. I don't think his Firehawk's going to be back in time. Laserfield comes down, but he really has no double A. There's actually a third Devastator warship here now trying to take down the... Uh, the, uh, the refinery and the ha Firehawks are back. The Bloodhounds will take care of that one and the Firehawks will take care of this. So, oh man. Oh, he didn't actually kill it. Oh no, he doesn't have enough. He didn't kill it. Meanwhile, Tripods are EMPing the mob. Didn't even see what happened there. Not sure if a Prodigy yet. Prodigy there might have teleported those in. But Bycrash just lost his mob. Is he going to lose the MCV? He needs to kill that right now. One more shot from the Devastator. It goes down. Oh, it just falls short. He just falls short. He doesn't have enough to kill it. He's got another Devastator warship here. Two more coming out now. He needs to move the drone platform forward. Get some Shard la la uh, launchers down here as well. And Bycrash is in big trouble. There's actually Disc Mechas here. And they need to start killing some units. Don't fly into those Juggernauts. Oh, man. Actually, a lot of them going down. That's unfortunate. But meanwhile, there's a uh, Devastator Warship still moving forward. No Traveler Engines, which would have been nice. Bycrush does have an Engineer. He needs to try to take heal up this right away. Firehawk's now coming in. There's some Heroic units over here. Uh, looks like Heroic Pitbull. Yeah, just from killing those uh, those Devastators. And of course, he's over here now with that one Mecha. Firehawk's still flying around. Another Devastator Warship hits the deck. And that's really annoying for GDI players, especially when they keep trying to build these things and keep sending them at your base. There's two Firehawks flying around, but that Disc Mecha... He will get that power plant, which is oh so important. Uh, or maybe not. He hasn't actually got that power plant yet. Wow, that power plant really not taking any damage. That repair tool just completely countering it there. And readjusting my mic. Meanwhile, he does not have the engine. He's got an engineer there, but Bycrush isn't paying attention. He isn't paying attention. He folds up his... Oh, that might have been a misorder there. He might have been meaning to... Uh, to put the engineer inside the MCV, which he does now, and this Devastator warship now not going to be able to do much. It does actually kill the uh, the Sonic emitter, so most of this field has been harvested. Bycrush has a ragtag army of infantry, no upgrades at all. He needs an armory. Wow, he doesn't have a rec Reclamator hub either. He is in a little bit of trouble here. Unleash me while probably has, he's got. Yeah, he's actually got, coming through to this back base area here, and he is going to be able to destroy, to destroy most of this equipment here. Meanwhile, we have Hammerheads trying to take out the uh, the gravity stabilizer. Teleports the Prodigy port forward, maybe wanting to take one of those Hammerheads. Not going to happen, but uh, nonetheless, he is pulling back with the Prodigy. Meanwhile, the Hexapod can be teleported across the map at any point in time. And really, I don't think Unleash cares too much about any kind of Area Mind controls these infantry squads. He's going to use them to kill the rest of the infantry squads. Prodigy is sitting behind here. Oh, Buzzer High is behind the Gravity Stabilizer, causing a lot of problems. A lot of problems for him. The Juggernauts here, they're pretty vulnerable, these Juggernauts. There's not a lot of units in front of them now. And these Tripods are just going to just bug out. They're going to tap out. They're going to move to the north here, outside the range of the Juggernauts. Meanwhile, the rest of these units being fired at. The Prodigy is standing by. He needs to watch out. He's going to get shot up very shortly. Meanwhile, the Hexpot is moving around there. And there is a Hammerhead coming as well. He might have to use his area mind control on the Hammerhead. Uh, but no, oh, what's going here? He does area mind control. Oh, he actually gets destroyed. So the area mind control, not or the uh, the single unit mind control, uh, now has a cooldown. Of course, there's another hammerhead coming, and he needs to get out of. He does teleport the hexapod back just in time, but he does lose his prodigy. He's going to need to rebuild that pretty quickly. But these units now are going to have to pull back because the hexapod just managed to get teleported in just in time. Bycrush space will be all but gone. There's only one power plant remaining. And, uh, of course, there's Firehawks here. Now, the Hexapod should be able to kill these Juggernauts, but there's a decent amount of infantry units here. Buzzer Swarm comes in, causing some d damage here, but he is getting his rear armor shot up now. He might have to use his phase field. Yeah, that's the first time I think we've seen that. I'm not sure if he's used it once before already, but uh, nonetheless, there's a few random units here. 
from Unleashed UA is trying to kill these units now. Hammerhead's just trickling in, but of course, Shard Launchers is done. Does he have EMP grenades? No upgrades, so it's surprising that Bycrush has no armory upgrades yet, uh, considering the sheer amount of infantry he's pushing in this game to try to push Unleashed back into his base. Prodigy, no doubt this is going to be a Prodigy. He's running low on... Uh, oh, actually yeah, sold off the, the, uh, the portal, so he's running low on these units. He sells off the tech center as well. Wow, so I'm not quite sure what he's got in mind, but he doesn't have a Prodigy, and now he cannot build one, so... Unleash, that might have been a little bit of an error. He might have been desperate for funds. I'm not sure if he was trying to do something or pull off some kind of maneuver. Scan goes down. Firehawks are here. They probably will get taken out. And yeah, look at that. That hurts. The refinery does not go down. One Firehawk manages to escape to the north. But uh, yeah, the Hexapod is looking pretty badly damaged. He has no options uh, to get repairs now. There is a beacon there. It's probably going to be for an Orca Strike. He does have a War Factory, though. And is this refinery going to go down? No, it just managed to stay alive. The Wharf actually will get repairs on the Hexapod. That's really all he got left. He would have liked, of course, to have had a, uh, a Prodigy tripod over here just taking out that last building. So, a uh, Bycrush does finally have an armory. He doesn't have any power, though, but he does have an upgrade. I think it may be Emp Grenades. Yeah, he does have EMP Grenades, but uh, the Grenade Score is getting chewed up a bit here. There's two down there now, but there's only one member left in each. So, uh, they're probably not going to last too long. The Juggernaut's now moving forward. He has four of them. There is no Marv, there is no tech center. Bike Crush has all these harvesters lining up. Some of them are full, some of them are half full. Not going for any more infantry upgrades. Uh, there is a tripod here, of course, but there's gunwalkers as well, and I think he needs to watch out. Bike Rush not realizing that there are gunwalkers. He was probably just expecting a tripod, and he's going to lose all these units now, so they're going to go down. The tripod is still alive, which is the real big damage dealer. Meanwhile, what's happening over here? The, the uh, juggernaut's moving backwards, and uh, the, uh, the tripod is now moving into this base. He's probably just going to EMP these units here. Uh, he could just EMP them, but no, he's going to pull back. Yeah, there's EMP grenades, mind you. So yeah, I think he's realized maybe a sec maybe he does not want to lose uh, this tripod. It's kind of important, and he's got some gunwalkers here too, which could just be killing the rest of these guys out here. Battle markers over here. Harvesters are wandering over there for uh, Unleashed. Does he have no? Look at this. Wow. Uh, there's actually a V35, empty V35 from Bycrush. Try to pick up that engineer, and then uh, forgetting about it. But he is getting blue Tiberium there, so he is pulling that blue Tibbin, which is really going to help him. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of these forces do get away. Uh, he does have some units here. Yeah, there's only two Gunwalkers. One of them is Elite, so he might want to call in repair drones, perhaps, over there. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, more Harvest is now going up to the blue Tiberium field. Unleash needs to do something. He does have some Fast Leg Descents, but uh, I'm not sure what they're going to be able to do. There is one, uh, uh, what do you call it, Shock Trooper Squad. No upgrade, though. They are particularly weak when they don't have any upgrade. That Juggernaut, though, will go down straight away. And there's not a lot to stop these uh, Disintegrators from killing these units. He are gonna get a, he's going to get another Juggernaut. And he's going to get some of these units here as well, getting very heavily heavily ranked, uh, ranked on these guys. And he probably should have pulled those Disintegrators back behind the Gunwalkers. Because now the Gunwalkers are here. And, of course, there's no Disintegrator squads. The Gunwalkers could just clean up everything. He needs to hurry up and clean up these uh, units here. Because an EMP grenade... Oh, there they go. EMP grenades go down. More EMP blasting. And, of course, the aircraft are probably just going to rock up now that that's done. The Corruptors might just want to start heal or killing off the Grenaders, because more Emp Grenades gear, there you go, you can see him throwing them now. There is only one Gunwalker, which will go down. There's nothing to contest against the air power now, and he's going to start focusing these Corruptors down as well. Does he have anything in those hammerheads? I thought Grenades was, but no. More EMP Grenades, he's in a lot of trouble now, so I don't think he has any option to get out of here. He doesn't have a tech center, so he's not going to be able to phase unless he's rebuilt one, but we'll have to have a look here. I think the Hexapod is getting pretty close. It's veteran. He's going to do a little bit more damage, but I think Unleashed might be in a lot of trouble here. The Hexapod is going to go down. It's down. It is down by Crush somehow holding on in this game here. Uh, pretty intense game. Of course, those husks didn't get destroyed. Well, at least one of them. I should know, maybe two of them. Two veteran juggernauts. That's nice. Does reclaim the husks. So that's pretty good. By Crush has a ragtag force here of just random units. Couple of jugs, scattered infantry, and two hammerheads. There's engineers on the ground here as well trying to uh, pick up whatever they can. But uh, nonetheless, there is a bit of tib there what's happening over here this one tripod and these uh few units all trying to kill those guys there that's nice there is a gun walker there i'm not sure what happened to the elite gun walker that was here as well but now this tripod there's nothing for it to oh actually tech center is done so he's going to phase it and he might have to end up teleporting that away if he has a prodigy i'm not sure if he has one he is building one mind you because he's got all the tech here for it and a portal is on the way so he's obviously doing something about that but uh, Unleashed, of course, does hold hold two spike. But yeah, he really needs to win this fight. This tribe is actually walking into this base, and when that phase wears off, he is going to uh, end up giving that husk to Bike Rush. So probably not the greatest. You see, you probably try to rally it back home, not uh, realizing that it goes down. He's actually the the uh, juggernaut has actually forced to destroy some of these buildings here. Uh, Bike Rush trying to sell them off at the last second just to get his money's worth. But this tripod, yeah, there's really no escape from him. The phase field can't last too much longer. 
he doesn't get a teleport off. I think, yeah, the Prodigy was actually done, so obviously he only had a fraction of a second to do that. And Bike Rush now, look at the harvesters he seems to still have. He's just got harvesters. There's tons of them. He's taken all this tip. Unleash has not got a base up here, which probably would have been nice if he did. That spike has been cleaned. And yeah, now Bike Rush is going to just max on as many units as possible with the tip that he's got. And Unleash really has no Tiberium left at his disposal. He's got tiny few specs here, but yeah, not much. Mechas are trying to be built. Good option because it's a big map. They can go around uh, these uh, these rocket squads here. No compo armor. Doesn't really matter against buzzers. They're just going to kill you anyway. And uh, we have battle markers up there. Something got blown to pieces. It might have been that V35. I'm not quite sure, but shard launches. There's one shard or plasma missile battery here. That's uh, really all he needs to defend this whole area. It's just ridiculously powerful. And he's moved his drone ship up there as well. So obviously wanting to keep it as safe as possible. We can see now Bike Rush is starting to, to regroup his forces here. He's trying to build whatever he can with the units here uh, just so he can uh, can push Unleash and just kill him. And uh, he's probably going to have enough. He could just mass infantry. The Juggernauts have the, the damage to kill really any other ground vehicle or building uh, that Unleash is going to throw at him. There is no Hexapod, of course. He even got a second refinery down here. And again, no armory again from uh, Bike Rush, really only using the armory for EMP grenades, which he only has a few squads. There. Here come the mechas though. So, and they're, they're a mixture of disc and shard mechas, so they're not terribly strong at either or. Uh, one of the mechas actually taking a route around this area here. Bike Rush not noticing until the last second. Will he actually be able to get away? He will be able to escape just, but uh, yeah. But he only realizes he can't really go in there right now. There's a few too many rocket squads. If he focuses the head, they're gonna die. Armory is down now. Not sure if that's maybe for sniper teams for the Prodigy, or if he is going to be getting that compo armor up. He's not upgrading anything. Uh, these mechas are going to make their way out of the danger area. Meanwhile, Hammerhead's over here. They do kill this area down here. This one engineer will be taking the bottom spike for himself. So Bike Rush playing it safe. The tripod there is actually gets a mecha kill. So uh, unfortunately, there uh, unleashed losing one of his mechas, and of course that captured tripod now causing problems for him. Bike Rush really is. Uh, is sitting pretty. He's just getting stronger and stronger here. Still no compo armor down from him, so I'm not sure why the armory was rebuilt. Maybe there are some sniper teams somewhere. Not entirely 100% sure. There was a battle marker down here. I don't even know what it was. Might have been those hammerheads here. And now uh, we have a... Uh, we're actually capping the spy. We have the orchestra strike coming in here. So Unleashed, this game is slipping away from him. He's tried to get back in it, but it hasn't worked out too well. I'm not even sure where that orchestra strike is going. Yeah, maybe he thought there was something there, or maybe he's using it just for a scout. But uh, nonetheless, he does have a signal transmitter, and he is going to get a hex pot out again. Wow, he could even use the wormhole ability to uh, to conyard cap there. And if you've ever seen the Prodigy up close, it's got these little little things, antenna things up there uh, on its on its head. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty pretty interesting design. Especially when I look at that. It's got a pattern on the back of it. it. Looks like a big Tiberium emblem of some sort there. It does look pretty crafty, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, it is a pain in the. Uh, <laughs> It is a pain for anyone playing against it. Uh, a GI Airborne gets dropped in, but of course those mechas are there, and they're just like, hey, what's going on, guys? We're just going to kill you now. So probably not a good idea for Bike Rush to do that. Hexpot is now out, so now he's in a little bit of trouble because just because that Hexpot has such durability. Sniper teams get called in. Uh, still not doing too much with the armory now. And of course the sniper team's probably there for uh, getting rid of the... Uh, or what do you call it, the, the Prodigy, but there's some random infantry units over here. I don't think Bike Rush has realized these units are down here. He does area mind control the Grenaders, and of course that's going to cause problems for him. The Prodigy might want to just bug out now. Of course, they will be able to kill some of the other infantry squads pretty quickly. He's going to run back to the War Factory, which does repair the Prodigy, uh, in case you guys at home did not know that. But yeah, this infantry force here just expended that. Not necessary, I don't think, Bike Rush to have done that. But uh, yeah, I'm wondering if he's going to be going for a Devastator Warship. A Devastator Warship would actually prove pretty good because there's no Firehawks from Bike Rush, who has actually teched all the way back to Tier 3. And mind you, is he going for Firehawks? No, he has an airfield, but he's not doing too much with it. Again, this has become a little bit of a campy game here. And to be honest, I think Bike Rush is okay with this just because the longer the game goes on, there's obviously Tiberium on his side of the, of the map, and Unleash can't really hope to contend with that too much. Uh, some fire and debris on that mountain over there obviously means that some Hammerheads were getting shot down. Sniper teams in the hammerhead. So did he get the prodigy? I can't see a prodigy. He may have sniped down the prodigy. That's why there's so much fire and debris over there. Uh, more aircraft being expended now by Bike Rush to take that out. Uh, a few mechas are down here, but Bike Rush has really rebuilt his base on three areas. I'm surprised he did this. I would have thought he would have just maxed out on army units, but instead he decided to retech, to rebuild base, to to move around and to defend every area equally. So uh, I guess playing a little bit conservatively there does not want to throw this game, of course. 
and these mechas now moving down here. Will they actually destroy the Tiberium Spike? I don't think he will. I think it's really easy for him to actually recapture that with an Assimilator. So he might just be doing that. The Prodigy is back out now. This could be an Assimilator. Battle Mark is raging and uh, sells the MCV. I'm not sure why he sold his MCV. Maybe he was worried there was a Prodigy coming. Uh, but there's mechas down here and there's mechas up top as well. Uh, yeah, those mechas up there will be getting shredded, so that's not too good at all. Uh, oh, two Juggernauts just getting caught out by the Hexapod. That's not good. That is not good at all. Readjusting the mic again, and uh, of course these are uh, these mechapedes now. There's actually is there one there? No, there's actually two there, but they're going to fly. They're going to drive into these infantry units, getting sandwiched here a little bit. You might have to phase them and or teleport them. He does teleport them out. The hexapod is here, but it gets immediately EMP'd. And yeah, really look at this army here. Bike Crush has everything he needs, and even just massing zone troops. The hexapod gets destroyed, and yeah, Bike Crush now I think can just move out his whole army right into into Unleash's base. He does have a Prodigy. There's the Assimilator, probably for the uh, Spike Cap, but he's forgotten about it. Those two mechas getting uh, brought out as well. And this is dangerous for the, the Prodigy to be doing this. Uh, forces his mind control there. And oh man, the Sniper team's actually getting de-garrisoned out. Uh, I totally thought they actually die if you do that, but apparently no, they get de-garrisoned out. And he snipes the Prodigy down. And really, there's not a lot to stop Bike Rush now from taking this game. A little bit delayed, bringing all of his army now across the whole map. And uh, yeah, really, there's not a lot to stop him here. Uh, Unleash desperately trying to go back for another hexapod and of course he's trying to get another prodigy out He's getting money from somewhere. I don't know how he's managing to do this, but uh, yeah, these infantry units are here This base is gonna be dead. I wouldn't be surprised if Fire Crusher, he should know that most of the structures are up here Hexapod does come out. So another hexapod managing to get built here and Unleash this game getting a little bit delayed But uh, I think he's probably gonna go down just because there's too much EMP here for him Actually, where are the EMP grenades mind you? I don't actually see any in that mixture there and he does teleport the Hexapod back, but he really can't teleport back much further. All His whole army is spread out, uh, by crushes that is, uh, so he's not going to take too much damage from support power, such as that Buzzer Swarm, although it does rip through all those zone troopers. And of course, uh, if you can get the tripod up to that Hexapod, that'll be nice. Has the MP grenades here, area mind control, the Prodigy just being a pain, like it always is, running through all those, uh, those uh, what do you call it, APM and Raftman squads. And he's actually going to go straight for the drone platform here, just going to kill off his last buildings. The Prodigy might know. The Prodigy's going to go for a run for it. I think he's going to try to go get one of Bike Rush's other buildings, but it's not going to work. He's going to run out of structures in time, or he's going to run out of structures shortly, mind you. So he knows there's only one power plant left. The Prodigy, yes, it has gone down. I probably shouldn't have flicked over there, but uh, nonetheless, so Unleashed UA goes down two games to zero against Bike Rush. So Bike Rush goes through the semi finals of the tournament. Unleashed goes down into the loser bracket where he will uh, continue his fight for survival down here. So I think we had all these games from the winner's bracket that I've casted so far. So don't forget to check out the other commentators. I'm sure they'll have other games casted as well as the live stream, which casted most of the games, including the grand final. If you want to see the grand final, which, you know, they weren't that fantastic, but uh, uh, most of the other games were, they're really good. But uh, 28 minutes, 15 seconds. What can I say about that game? 258,000 to Bike Crush, 199,000 to Unleashed. So you got about $59,000 more in a game that long. That's significant. You can see most of it was at the end where Bike Crush went back to his main bases. Unleashed never really had a third field or anything like that. But uh, anyway, that was a really good game. I hope you enjoyed this series. See what I can do about bringing some more games to you as well. But I'm Green Zero. Stay tuned to my channel, and I'll see you all next time.